Good morning, ladies. My name is Chad, and welcome to the part two of What If Zuku Went Back in Time and Became a Father of All for One. So, and now, reason why I'm talking so fast is because the I chose to. So, yeah. So now, let's begin. So, where we left off, the... Zuku, who, or so, so Zumi was entered into the world. Zuku remembers seeing her in his dream, where she was the same age as what Zuku is currently. Fifteen. And, yeah. So the Zuku ends up, so he goes to, like, UA with Bakugo. He meets Ochako. And, you know, Ochako, oh, uh, ends up, um, hanging out with him more, way more. And in this alternate timeline, because of, we went back in time and, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. It's in, it's uploaded right now. And go check it out before this video starts. So, now, the, and please make sure your volume is all the way up. So, because sometimes I talk really quietly. So, yeah. So, Zuku goes to UA. Time skip. To UA. And he's in class 1A. Because of his. Fire. Control thing. And then the. Ochako hangs out with Zuku. Similar with Bakugo hanging out with him. And instead of calling him Deku. They they call him Zuku. It's a lot better than, you know, because both worlds, or the both parallel universes thing, was, is like switching back and forth. Or actually, yeah. So he goes back in time. Or, so... So he ends up dating Ochako. And of course, Ochako got married. Married. Like, so a time skip. Because I'm skipping over the overhaul fight thing. Or, not overhaul fight. The all for one. Because in part one, I went over it. But the, that was the alternate timeline. Like, basically, he changed the past thing. So, but in this one, he does the same thing. In. In. Theme. He, it's like him constantly going back and forth. So, yeah, then oh, so Zuku was by himself a lot. He, every time he dreams, it felt like he's always been 
like, in two places at once. At a villain's base. Carrying the burden of all his son. Or, no, his entire family. That he... And the... Because... After Zuku left that universe thing, because how much pain he went through, his heart finally broke, and when he left, it, like, resets it to, yeah. To way beginning. So then, he ends up dating Ochako. Oh. And if any of you guys are wondering, like, is he having a conflict of himself or the... With... Because... It's confusing, I know. But this is a whole point of the what if. Zuku goes back. So, now, it was time. So, after the uh, Chaco and Zuku got married and had... Two kids. And Zuku and Ochako were like pro heroes. So then one day the portal opens up and came out an alternate timeline like the one that we talked in part one where there was an alternate Zuku, or, or not Zuku, an alternate Ochako alternate Bakugo and like every other pro hero that saw him that he was in. Yeah. Name. So, both of them. Um. So the entire class one A. One A. Shows up. Like basically from the alternate timeline where. Zooming, in that. Alternate or par paradox universe thing with her classmate versus Zuku because the both of them as everybody's like wondering or why is why are they going for Zuku? As he remembers why that they are going after him is because he told them that the dream or Asashi remembers the dreams that Zuku told. It was the so then everybody was right after them. Like, Zuku was like, all right. <laughs> hey. And if this has to do with the alternate timeline... 
that you guys came from. Um, as they said, well, we'll we'll bring you to justice. Hmm. As the alternate Momo is like wondering, what did this kid do? What did my, as she asked, what did our friend do? He's, you guys might not know it, but you guys are, are us. We had an alternate version of him. Where he was the father of the all for one. Hun. Hmm. Is that true, Zuku? Hmm. I've been, th- as he says, I've been through a lot. Come sit down with me. As he comes and sits down, I'll tell you the whole story. I remember clear as day. So then he tells them the name that... And before, like way before, I was quirkless. And you, Bakugo, told me to not um, become a hero. So I took your word for it. But one day, a villain came to my quirkless school. And you pro or the pro heroes tried to stop him, but he had me as a hostage. But he he teleported me. He back through time. The villain's name was Time Warper. No way, as everyone sh- shock. Here, hold on. Shock. Hey. When everyone heard that the he, as they asked him, how, how, how did you, you go back in time? As he, so then he told them that the, he, that when went back, Time thing. Aim. It was. Then. A girl. Um, or should I say. Or Zuko's pronounce her name. Of the overhaul or not overhaul, all for ones is mother, and when they heard, they could not believe their friend went through a lot. So 
Yeah. So then the Zuku came back and and trying to fix the time aim so that the it won't happen again. Because already had, as he says, and as the students like Zumi from the that paradox world, that's what I call it, was like, brother, the you're saying that you went, you got forced to go back in time because the warp or time warper teleported you back through time and you ended up, um, Dating and marrying the all for ones is mother. Yeah. But it wasn't my choice. That girl forced me upon it. Like because a timeline got fixed and and yeah because I I fixed the timeline before yeah. so that world wouldn't happen again and because that's why I chose you, Chaco. Because you're the nicest one. And, yeah. As everybody's like, yeah. So they were, like, kind of scared of why, or concerned about why Zuku... Went back in the time in the first place. Azuku just looks at them with dead looks in their in his eyes. As some of them know that, because the paradox world version of him or paradox version of them know that dead look. Of, because he always done that when he, as some of them are like concerned, why? Why are you guys scared? As they said, well, he, he does it more times. Aims to us in the parallel universe thing. Or in our time. Yeah. So then. Yeah. But how does that make you feel? Hmm. The. So now. As they, yeah, brings him to justice thing and locked him up. Um, in their world. And, yeah. For two years. So, yeah. 
and Ochako divorced him, and yeah. So Zuku was like, as Zuku had still had the powers of infinity and zero, as he's blaming himself for being like quirkless and then and plus it wasn't his choice it was Giggles fate thing so Zuku is basically got put in jail because the he was the father of all for one and yeah Plus, then Bakugo walks up to him. And Zuku still doesn't want to talk to him. As he says, the I know that your the father of the all for one and but did you have any ties any connections with your son no but i did know that the he or i did notice after the all my arc after all my thing that all for one hmm, or was creating a villain gang and and I had no idea until the hmm, until then so yeah, Azuku was basically, he can never become a hero ever again. Because he wasn't like lying to them. He was the, like, and yeah. So he's no longer a pro hero or a student or he's no longer a student of UA. No longer. So and plus they so what makes it worse is that Ochako divorced him and yeah so the and everything else. So Zuku you know, is all by himself. Like basically he was in prison. He kind of blames himself. But the. Yeah. So. All for one. or So Zuku. Well, was, and he kept telling himself, it's not my, it's not your fault. If you were, as he was mad, and next time he sees the time warper from the, his original world before the paradox thing, He's he's ready to kill him. So, yeah. So, Zuku was... Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Chaco and... He's... So, 
everybody. So now he's just a Zook or called Deku. So they're like they did not care about him anymore. They dropped all the emotions off about. Come on, Zuko, let's go, let's roll, come on. To being, like, we don't care. Kind. So then, Zuko was like, he's talking, he's mumbling to himself. Of. So, yeah. But luck would have it. The there was a next door to him, or like next cell over, was the time warper. Her. As he looks over at him, or he could feel the aura. And, yeah. And so... No, he's ready to kill. So, he gets up. Um, he walks over. As a, he did have miniguns aimed right at him. Mm -hmm. As he placed a hand on him, as he tells the time warper guy, it was his fault, and you should be the one that gets blamed. I was trying to fix it, that you sent me back in time, and you caused this mess. You should have. You should not had to be born with that power in the first place. Okay. As let's say Mister Azawa shows up, as he's like Zuku, I know how you feel. As he turns around, you know how I feel? Huh? As he's, like, all raged. You know how I feel? The, this guy right next door to me ruined my life. Hey, he, if he wasn't shown up at the the quirkless school, uh -huh. uh, the, then I would have been mostly uh, like best person. But no, he shows up and teleports me back in time and yeah, the on or then Zuku says the the all for ones is mother's his name. Him and she fell in love with me. It wasn't my choice, as he says. It wasn't my choice. I was trying to who not get attracted like any anyone attracted to me as he's so now he's he's just angry that now As he 
tells them that the he's kind of blaming himself just don't really care as he looks away from Mr. Azawa. He was still angry. Hearing because he as the he even told him sorry, he even told Mr. Azawa to just make his or make Zuku's like thing thing let's see how long oh okay. so the jail person or make not jail person makes him or his sentence way longer Longer. Hey, okay. as as he walks away, we're done with this conversation. As Mister Zawa could tell that Zuku, whose life has been over. Owner. So, yeah. So, Zuku was... So, the sentence him from two years to six thousand years. Yeah. Or rest of his life. Because, yeah. He was... Like, he was depressed. He got, because it wasn't his fault. As he even, like, trying to, or everybody, Class A was talking to another Class A from a, that same Paria universe, that the... Zuku hasn't done anything wrong, like truly wrong. Um, um, what did he actually do? As Mr. Zawa told, asks the, his, like, alternate version, what did he actually do? Well, the, we haven't really discussed it, but what we believe that he, it wasn't, as Mr. Azawa says, well, to my eyes, he was a victim that, of a villain, Ellen, did that to him. Um, a warp guy did that to him. Mm. Yeah. Is there any concrete evidence to support that? And thing. As in Zuku's room, or once his bedroom, but now now they because they hauled the all of his bedding equipment out, huh, and made the, it into the office room. Because Zuku was basically put behind bars and like that stuff, but Zuku had a file. Oh. 
you know, like, full concrete aisle thing. Where it was right next to a dumpster. Classed as the T V or T S or no, actually T R W who showed up out of nowhere. Uh, and yeah so then the policeman that what took the like the garbage stuff out like the empty donut containers out and he discovers it and guess by who it was by Zuku The alternate version where they have him in custody thing. It was way before her, um, or before he got thrown in prison and before Crud went down. It was, yeah. So Zuku wrote down exact coordinates, exact same day, and yeah. The, and wrote every description of it. So, Zuku ends up being, you know, Zuku. Policeman, re- like, this is Zuku's handwriting. <laughs> and wrote exact same day that the, all, or the warp guy teleported him to. And he even made a book about it. In he wrote the entire book of what happened. So then they re- read it, and they were shocked. It all the concrete evidence was there. They he. They were, had full, like, concrete evidence that Zuku was the victim. So, yeah. So then the, yeah, so they looked into his case again of the... And, wait, yeah, so then, yeah, it basically, the time warper, or, (laughs) Zuku ends up, um, this is what he ends up with, no felony charges, because the, he didn't do anything wrong, he had concrete evidence to support it, he was a victim, And all the charges dropped to zero. And the prison sentence was zero. Like he went free and all the prison sentence went for the time warper guy. And yeah, Zuku went free. But he still isn't allowed to go to UA. So he he goes to whom the he lives on the streets. Cause how much pain he's in, like his sorrow, his sadness. Yeah, so he ends up, um, 
Like, because in the alternate timeline, so both timelines were about to hit each other's because the villain from the Paradox world, where Zuko was at, was like, I'm going to take one timeline and adding it to this timeline, like fusing them together. Now it's time. Hit the banana. As Zuko just straight up kicks him in the side, sending him flying. I mean, I've been there, done that. As he destroys the machine I mean, with his powerful kicks. As he. As Zuku, or they did not know. Or actually, let's. But when they. Or actually, both sides, both the villains, or. were the same, but on two different time streams. They were doing the same thing. But Zuku Light took care of one side, the Paradox world, and the other was the Dark version. As the both timelines are fused, about to fuse together. Yeah. So then Zuku ends up, you know, saving the day as Zuku Light and Zuku Dark looked at each other. They both nod their heads as they both grabbed each other's arms, ready to fuse. As they fused both of them, as both, as they see a goddess, basically, they. I'm doing the anime and goddess. Yes. Or basically, hmm, not Godzilla. <laughs> so Zuku was the. He kind of looks like this. As everybody's from both timelines are shocked when they see Zuku's godly form. As he says, all right, it's time for to keep them separate. As he splits both of them back. And as both Zuku's split it too after he Name. So, yeah. So, Ochako that, like, was divorced her Zuku and tried to go for the other guy, Bakugo. But when Ochako saw there was two versions of him, they both were, yeah. And Ochako says, man... There was two of you? Yeah. Because I wasn't just born with a quirkless. I was born with a power of infinity and zero. Or infinite zero. And when the time warper guy warped me into the alternate version, like in the past... Then my power separated into two. And yeah, so the. It's a pretty much long expense. The. Yeah. So the. In that timeline, as he says, the all for ones as mother was dating the. Zero. No. It's an alternate version of me. 
that has a power of zero. Zero. And the one that you're you divorced from had the power or has a power of infinity. So yeah, so then Zuku who says the both sides are equal to one. So Zuku leaves and he tells them, I can't become a hero. So, have fun, you heroes. As Nezu knows that it, what Zuku said was true, all of it was true. So, Zuku, so Nezu says, hold on. I know that there was a big misunderstanding of what you who and the other one did because the alternate version alternate Zuku was basically a yeah and sorry for if this video gets uploaded later because yeah so so yeah so now, because the, yeah, so Nezu said, we will apologize, and, and we're sorry for the huge misunderstanding. And Zuku says, that's all right. He, he, but I still keeping the promise of me not being a hero. Because the one that told me not to become a hero was Kosuke Bakugo, as he points right to him. As Bakugo, you know, no, looks over. Over, as he kind of feels bad for when Zuku straight up called him out on it. So, peace out, y'all. As he, like, leaves, as, yeah, so... Then the, so Ochako, oh, oh, is this kid, had his similar, learn, like, or actually was a combined of their fathers and their mothers one, as Ochako kind of feels bad because he, or she liked him. Um, um, but then the whole th incident thing and divorce and, yeah. So he left the entire thing. And... So, they ended up found or found him because as Ochako who walks up and apologizes for the divorce thing and yeah, well, Zuko says, "Huh, it's okay." The and Bakugo says, "Sorry for the aim for me calling you like quirkless Deku thing." 
theme and I know that you should not took in my advice and yeah. Okay. Hey? Yeah, so then the he goes to school or so Nezu accepted him back to school, but they he's just like he goes to school because then he became a pro hero once again. So then the both like Infinity and Zero were yeah. So now the but it's a happy ending to Zuko. So, yeah. And sorry if, if this video is longer than usual. Because I chose to. And yes. And I know that I need more space on my phone. But the, yeah. So, do you guys like this what if? Like, it... Meh. In part one, I went over, like, the part where Zuku got captured or, like, held hostage and, like, got sent back through time and, like, got married to, like, Baku or not Bakugos. I meant all for ones is mother and the, yeah... With all that stuff. Well. Yeah. So if you guys want me to do. Like any more of. Because I thought about this. For a long time. Because. Since it's watching like. One Piece. Or the My Hero Academia. I was like. What would happen if the Zuku who went back in time and, and like, did all that stuff and, like, because, you know, everybody is just trying to think. Hold on. Because... Maybe tomorrow I might do a whatever Zuku was as or I'll do like probably a top ten and reasons why you don't take advice from Bakugo. Oh. Oh. Or top ten Zuku's what ifs things. Because I'm thinking about doing another what if. But it's a weird one. But it's not like. Not like what this is. This is just. Like. I was sleeping one day. And woke up. With that idea. So. So that's why. If you guys want me to do another what if. Please let me know. In the comments below. And peace out y'all. And have a good night or day. Depends on the time zones. Bye.